Okay, people, uh, we're going to continue where we ended. We are looking at the origins of African drama. So we said that uh, African drama began with Hansa Kedarim, whereby Hansa Kedarim would sit down and rehearse before they go there in the sport field where they will try to hunt the animals. And then they will go there and hunt according to what they have rehearsed. And then after a successful hunting, the hunter generals would like uh, dance uh, and sing, and then they would be like, uh, they'll be like, if at the end of the day, during the night, after dancing and singing, sit around the fire under the moonlight and share the highlights of the entire day in the evening. So, the culture, in other words, the culture of sitting around the fire uh, in the evening, so the birth of storytelling, because that is where storytelling began, when the Hansa Peter that night would uh, just stay in, uh, uh, around the fire, and uh, one of them begin telling the story of what was happening during the day. So by so doing, that was giving birth in the storytelling. So it is said that storytelling started among the hunters. So the stories that uh, they uh, told took the, from the form of tales, uh, history, uh, riddles, and proverbs, uh, or accounts of their hunting and adventures. So those, who, those were the genres of which existed during those days in, uh, of the Hansa Federals in Africa. Then, such storytelling became so popular that it acquired a superstitious significance, uh, which was then uh, believed by hunters that if stories were told uh, uh, at the night, there would be no success during the day, and that they would be they would go home. Okay, that if stories were not told at night, uh, the there will be no success uh, during the day and that they will grow up. So this was the superstition which was shared during that period by Hazapiradara. So this uh, superstitious uh, thing that was adopted by the Santa Federal had, had a special significance that by looking at it was believed uh, that if stories are not told at night, there will be no success during the day, and that uh, they will go home. What can you say there, Tori? Uh, what is this? The underlying message. Nothing. So the underlying message uh, between, uh, be, be behind this thing was that during the day, no one should uh, just sit, especially men, sit uh, down at home and tell stories, tell stories to people. Actually, uh, people during the day, they have to go in a hand so that in the afternoon, they will tell stories. So it was a moral code, which was adopted by the Cold Code. So, hunting is a dramatic performance. Now, all the steps that I highlighted about Hansa Gederals, uh, the rehearsals before going to the sports now, we are going to relate them to the elements of drama itself so that we will have a, a genuine link on how drama originated in Africa. So we'll divide this thing in scenes. So of which scene one is the assemblies or the assemblage. So in the assemblage scene one, it would be like men and boys from different families they gather. They bring their dog and not carries along with them. The hunters are mastered and ready for the occasion. They are rehearsing. Then there is scene one. Then we've got scene two, which is the guard. The guard, the hunters surround the bush. Now they are in the spot. They surround the bush where all where the animal is. They guard all the avenues that can be used by the animal to escape. 
the dogs are sent in to attack. The hunters are alert, waiting for the animal. The dogs are praised as they search for the animal. So this is the step stage two of which now the action is taking place. So scene three would be like the appearance. The appearance of the animal which is targeted to be hunted. When now the, uh, uh, the animal begins to appear in the sight of the hunters and the dogs. Now that is scene three of which the animal appears, the hunters chase it, they, co they compete to be the first to spear the animal. When it is caught, the animal is struck to its heart until it dies. So they like, you know, when someone is having a knife, poking the poke it until it dies. Then we go to scene four. Now the animal is dead. So, so now what will take place is division. Division of the animal. They are dividing the animal among themselves, the hunters. Because it is important to remember that as hunters were mostly uh, hunting in groups, they did not belong in the, same, in the same home or in the same family. They come from different families. So when the animal is captured and killed, they must divide it among themselves. Okay, so the carcass uh, is divided according to the law. So there are certain procedures that have to be followed in dividing the animal. Secondly, the man who first feared the animal takes the carcass and expect, expecting a hind leg and the forecotter. So that person who first feared the animal gets the larger portion of the animal. So the person who delivered the second draft takes the hind leg. So you see it goes to stage, uh, according to stages which are, uh, are stipulated in the law. So the person who uh, delivered the draft takes the four quarter, etc. etc. So we go to scene five. Scene five will be like the return. So now they have uh, rehearsed, they have went to the uh, spot and then chased the animal and then they divided the animal. Now it is scene five where now they are returning from the bush to their home. So as the hunters return home, they return home to enjoy the fruit of their toil in the evening. So they have, they have worked very hard during the day trying to capture the animal. So now they have successfully uh, captured the animal they go now, it's in fact they return. They return home to enjoy their hard work. So as they, uh, they come, they return home, they would, as you uh, enthusiastically, they describe their key and their piercing whistles, their simultaneous echoing shout, key, and you know, they are now like reminiscing now. Uh, you see, in, 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 in an enthusiastic form, now talking about the events which took place during the time when they were hunting the animal, you see, praising themselves or praising each other, the hunters, in stage five, in, in, in scene five, which is the return now from the bush. So, we would like, uh, we would like now go to scene six, of which scene, scene six is a, a assembly. Now hunters gather around in the assembly and uh, they get around the evening uh, fire discussing or reviewing each circumstance of the day from the first scene to the last scene of the day. So the, the foolish or weak or ridiculous achievement is pointed out and subjected to sarcasm and laughter, you know. They now uh, enjoying everything, you so they are laughing. Now it is scene seven, of which scene seven will be like a performance. Why is it a performance? Because now the men uh, begin, uh, the men begin to drink and eat uh, their fill, 
and the meat and corn that have been cooked by the, the women. They drink, they eat, because women have been cooking all uh, around. So uh, they start to play when they are drunk. They start playing, they sing, they dance as well, and they tell stories until midnight. They would like tell stories, uh, dancing around the fire, uh, singing, you know. So they do that until midnight. Okay, so now I want us to like sort of analyze uh, crit, uh, hunting, crit, uh, to do what is called hunting critical analysis, communal drama. So the intro would be like scene one, men and dogs are presented and characters with their dogs and theories organized for cohesion, for cohesion, then uh, action begin as hunters surround the bush where the animal is and the dogs are dispatched to the start game. The talented poet encourage the dog by singing and praise Izibongo and then action rises uh, to the climax whereby scene 3 and scene 4 animal appears chased, uh, killed and divided according to the tradition when the hunters and dog run after the animal, the whole village or community get involved to motivate the dogs and confuse and confuse the animal. So, note the first two scenes are without uh, the audience, whereas uh, the, the the third uh, and fourth scene involve the audience. Uh, the resolution of which now is scene seven, which. It is the exciting part whereby joy is expressed by hunters after eating meat cooked by women. Hunters will start play around and sing, sing and tell stories, and tell stories about the past history of people as well as culture, because drama is embedded on culture. We mustn't forget that. So the entire hunting, pro pro uh, the entire hunting. Uh, performance is integrated in songs, dances, uh, and narratives which are elements of oral drama. So now I want us to look at rituals as form of drama because even the rituals, the traditional rituals that take place in Africa, they somehow follow the trend or the elements of drama. As in like, uh, for example, the circumcision uh, ceremony, which is practiced by the, the, the Zulus and Mkosa. So it was like, uh, the circumcision ceremony, it was like a practice of the Goni, but uh, was abolished among the Zulu and Swazi by uh, King Tingiswa. King so not a shift of power between hunter-gathers and Goni tribes, which uh, with the 